Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name, as always, is Bloodstained Wings, and I did a painting a while back, the link will be in the description below, of a uh, gate kind of painting, um, and uh, it was inspired by a bunch of different things, and then after having finished the painting, I thought, you know, this gate could lead to somewhere special, and I spent a long time trying to think of where that gate actually led to, and today, we're gonna paint it, and if you want to see what it looks like, it looks like this. Ta-da! This is an underwater scene with jellyfish and seaweed, and it really helps to add a lot of depth, I feel, to this uh, painting overall. It also, I feel like, helps it make it more my own than um, the CG art that inspired it, um, that my, my friend did for me. <laughs> um, but uh, I do think that this, uh, because now it doesn't only just have the textural difference um, that oil painting and physical paintings will give you, but it also has this like really weird, surreal look overall, and I'm really pleased with the, the how this turned out. So if you would like to paint along, please feel free to start with a finished painting and allow that painting to fully dry, and then uh, you can add this uh, into that painting. Um, if you don't want to paint along and you just want to enjoy the painting, please feel free, this is a rather short one. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get right into it. Hello, um, thank you for waiting for this video. Um, yeah, so, um, uh, as you can see, I taped off the gate from the previous video, um, and if you haven't watched the video in regards to me painting the gate that is below this, please feel free to go and do that. Um, I'm now going to paint an underwater scene in this tiny little spot of the door because I think that would look really cool. Now I am gonna try to use more transparent paints um, in a hope that you can still see like the little red that's down there, but we shall see how that goes. I'm gonna start um, with some of the Viridian hue, which is um, like a beautiful emerald green. I think if we start at the top with an emerald green and we make our way down to the Prussian blue. I think it'll still give that like light at the top and dark at the bottom kind of view that like the ocean has. Um, but I still want this to be like fairly transparent so I'm hoping to not put it on too dark. That being said, it is Prussian blue so it just is dark um, and it will take over if you let it which is why I'm immediately switching to another brush. Um, and trying to blend these together to try to just give it that. So it's still got a little bit of glow from the white and the initial painting, which is looking pretty cool. Um, I'm going to grab a little bit of white on another big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to kind of lighten the top of this in the corner, and then just kind of brush stroke it down in a way to try to imply like light columns that are like coming through from the other side. Kinda, kinda feeling. Just wanna get it a little bit darker. Just a smidgen darker, because I ended up blending away most of the darkness. And I did like the level of dark that we had, so. Okay, there. Oh, that's nice and nice and contrasty, which is exactly what I was looking for. Um, and now I'm just gonna use the uh, cadmium red, which is the same color that the gate is in. And I'm gonna add a few little jellyfish, because I feel like that's a really good idea, in my opinion. <laughs> Um, and if you guys want um, to see more of my jellyfish paintings, I do actually have a few jellyfish art um, on here and some of them are available for sale. Um, so if you wanted that, you can have that. Um, so I'm just using the cadmium red. 
um, which is kind of an orange color essentially and I'm just adding basically like a little blob a little blob and then some some tails tails from the blob <laughs> it's like tails from the crypt but they're different tails and uh, it's a blob I'm gonna have this go sideways Because that's the thing, jellyfish don't just float upwards, you know? They float all which ways. So they can do whatever they want. Because it's the ocean. And that's what they do. There we go. Maybe one more. But like a really small one that's like off in the distance there it is barely see it that's kind of what i like about it and you can spend as much time as you want adding as much details as you want to these um, i'm going to grab a little bit of the white and make sure it's still nice and thin and I'm just gonna highlight a little bit of the top of this to like really emphasize the light coming in from that section up there although I did a little bit too harsh over here so I'm just gonna blend it a little bit there we go and put it back in because now it's invisible We'll go back to the to the orange well to the cadmium red it's not orange there it just adds like a little bit of a little bit of flavor to that um nice uh like just jellyfish kind of feeling um i think no, I think that's all I want to do. I might, um, yeah, I am. I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to add little bubbles. Um, and the way that I'm going to do that is just with the white paint and I'm just going to make little circles. I'm going to make them very, very subtle. Just kind of floating up from the depths so there's like this bubbly feeling bubbles they're very uh very small bubbles i don't think jellyfish make bubbles but you know i feel like it makes it look more watery Oh, you know what else would make it look watery? If we did some um, kelp. So I'm going to go into the viridian hue um, and mix it with the Prussian blue to keep it like really, really dark. And then I'm just going to kind of add some wiggly lines with some wiggly lines coming off of it. Very, very wiggly line centric today. <laughs> I thought this would just be like a really fun, like, let's just paint some wiggly lines kind of day. You know? Do you guys ever have days where you're like, I don't really want to put a lot of effort into something, but I do want to make something pretty to make myself feel better about life in general. That's what this part of this painting is. I already did a beautiful painting and I'm just adding a little bit of details to it. To make it stand out more and be a thing. There we 
go. See, just, just kind of add some wiggly do's. Add some wiggly do's. It'll look like seaweed eventually because it looks like it's under the water. And that's the important part. As long as it gets smaller as it goes in the distance and is bigger on the outside here. Because then that makes the most sense. There we go. There. Just some small lines. And it's done. Uh, so now we get to do the big reveal because that did not take very long, which is the best. I love when things don't take very long. I also love when I can reuse my tape because nothing got on it. I was trying to be very careful to make sure that no paint got on the background painting because blue is impossible to take off. So if you get blue on the rest of your painting, it's it's done. There's no removing that blue. Ooh. So there you have that. So now we have like a gateway going to like this other world kind of feeling. Um, and I'm just going to try very, very slightly to bring down some of this into the, into the red here, just a little bit to like continue that feeling. So it really gives that like depth. I also think if we do a little bit of the blue on the side of the inner gate, it's gonna also help to like, give it that like, I don't know, underwater glow. So I'm just taking like a little bit of the Prussian blue. And just filling in this side part a little bit. Any, any of the parts that are black, basically, I'm adding just, just the smidgiest smidgen of blue to kind of, first of all, darken them, and second of all, give them that, like, blue tone, which I think is going to really help to, like, sell the, the underwater glow. Just little hints of it to really make it come together a little bit more. Uh, maybe if I did a little bit of white on the one wall. Oh, I'm going to screw it up if I, if I don't like it, but we're going to do it. Just to give it that, like, the light is just touching this part here. Kind of wanted it to be, like, very, very subtle. Yeah, so it's like coming off of that one wall. Yeah. So it is just barely grazing the surface here. But you can see that it's adding a lot to the overall like glowy light because it looks like this light is like coming through on that side and not coming through on this side, which is giving it this like unified front um, that I'm really enjoying. I'm just going to grab a little bit more of the dark to add more of it back in here to really emphasize that darkness at the bottom because so I think that's still really important. Yes, so there. So there's just like a little bit of light hitting that area there, which is bringing it all together. Oh, I really like that. Um, thank you for joining me today on this very quick, subtle um, addition to uh, a painting. Uh, I think it adds a lot to the overall vibe of the painting, and I hope you guys... Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. Remember that you are loved and you deserve to be loved. And uh, thank you so much to all of my Patreons who continue to make this possible. Um, I appreciate you guys so much, uh, and I will see you guys next month. Mwah! Bye!